Hey fam, the word of encouragement for today is, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and save the crushed in spirit. What's up fam, it's your girl Sharina Cole and I am back with another vlog. So thank you and welcome if you are old and new for joining me on my house hunting journey. Okay. House number 2,500 and <laughs> yeah, so the fence is broken. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me see what's over here. 349. I, oh, your mother. I just, not yours. <laughs> I, I just walked into a spider web. Hey, fam. So at this point, me and my realtor already viewed about probably like 15 houses. So, yes. We are tired and we are just like, oh boy, <laughs> we're a little delirious. I'm sweating bull sacks in here. Holy moly, 349 you said? 349, there's a little market. This already tells me that something's wrong. No. So if you decide to put in the offer yeah. or a lower offer, they probably wouldn't even take it. You think? So otherwise they're standing? Taken, otherwise they would have just taken the offer. Oh, uh, so we can just leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all I was like. I was like, oh, it's been on for a long time. I'm like, yeah. let's get it. Yeah, I see. Well, I mean, I guess you gotta know what your stuff is worth, right? Eventually, someone right. will come and along. This just went down 1% from 354 nights to 349 nights. Mm. So right. It's clearly not. Look at all the work. So that, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that this does. We're not interested in the Yeah, no. Damn. All right, yeah, let's just go. Okay, fam. So this is just a gist of the houses that I went to go see. All in total, I probably went to go see about 30 houses. But you're going to get to see some of the houses that I went to see here. So thank you for joining me on my house journey. <laughs> my house hunting journey. Okay, so this is the same house. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more of what we were looking at and this house was like a 349 honey they only dropped by a little bit and these people just be standing on their prices and in the roughest neighborhoods at that like what <laughs> all right fam let's go ahead and get on to house number two y'all i'm telling you <laughs> honestly i don't know what kind of stove is going in there it looks like a baby stove I think I just like the fact that it's a lot of space for the um, for the kitchen table. You can put a table. You can put like, you know what I mean? Um, a dining room table. I'm saying a kitchen table. <laughs> um, yeah, they gotta fix the tub right there. There's just a lot of things that we have to fix. I dealt with that in my other house. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? And he's like, you don't realize stuff until after. <laughs> but I was I was cool with it. And this has the the same prison walls I was talking about. The gray. So just in case you weren't following along, I was definitely not complimenting the wall color because I had that wall color in my previous home and it was starting to grow dreary on me like the gray is okay but gray I feel is outdated and it's done honey okay throw the gray away because we need white walls in this season or something a little lighter let me tell y'all family even though I said this house is so cute this house was giving Jack Nicholson vibes okay it was giving red room if you know you know yeah. Oh, what the hell? 1922. Ooh, child. They put a deck on it. It was like, ha <laughs> ha. That's a no. And yeah, I'm not opening that door. <laughs> yes, honey. So the reason why I said I was not opening that door, that does lead to the backyard. But y'all, that is the hallway that I was saying was reminding me of the Jack Nicholson movie where like all the blood just comes gushing out the door. And I was not here for that, okay? I was like, honey, it is time to go. On to house number three. Oh, interest. 260? It's smaller, smaller, right? 1230. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I know. 
It's very tight. <laughs> Y'all, everything about this house was just so attractive. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Well, the stairs are wide. Yeah, this is awesome. I can see running up and down these stairs. <laughs> well, you're looking for a two floor. Right, yeah. I know. The other one just felt so awkward and I really thought that I wanted to have a single, like a one level. So this is a primary, primary bedroom. Okay. All right. I like how the tile sits in, in the bathroom. Oh, I, I see. I wouldn't, I, mean, I wouldn't like it yeah. around the house because mm -hmm. it looks a little bit older. Yeah. But in the bathroom, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, look at the shower. They knew exactly oh, what they were doing. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that I liked it. Let's see. OMG, so the bedroom is big enough, definitely. Oh, uh, this house was everything. The only reason why I didn't get it is because I was like, mm, the square footage, hon. You have enough space there. I know, now I could put my shoes somewhere and stuff. Mm -hmm. Clothes, like, okay, this master suite is hot. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one I feel is more appealing for us location wise. Yeah. With the new bills going up, you mm -hmm. definitely get more of an equity. Mm -hmm. And the price. Right. And then they have to deep clean this house before anybody moves in. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we know the AC works really well. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. This is yeah, crazy. Yeah, I, I like this one. This one is nice. The only thing I don't want three is. Whoa. Three with this, the um, attic. Yeah. And there they should have put it out here. Right. Because you got all this hallway. Yeah. I guess they wanted it to look appealing, so if you're in your bedroom, oh well. Well, hopefully nobody's... Go I'm not going up there. <laughs> I mean, are you? <laughs> okay, fam, so most of the houses that I was going to see are new construction, and they are building a lot of new construction in the area, but look at what you see across the street. Like, what? I mean, look at it. Come on, though. Like, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got to get this record this because these houses be looking like straight trash. <laughs> I'll just be like, yeah, but you know what? At least you don't have, you're not facing the factory. Right. You're in yeah, a, that one was enough. So let's get into the fact that he said you're not facing a factory. So the reason why he said that is you're going to see one of these houses here. I'm not sure if I recorded it, but it was literally facing a factory, y'all. Like, I don't even know if it was a factory. It was just some big metal container that had graffiti all over it. And it was horrible. Now, mind you, it was a new built, but it was just, it was not appealing at all. Like, you don't want to wake up in the morning and have coffee and look at graffiti on the wall. We saw uh, the first one. Did I even see this? Oh. Yeah, the first one, because it was like, it didn't have lights. We couldn't really see anything. And we were just like, like feeling around like, like roaches in the night. <laughs> like, I think that's what they do. <laughs> but this is, oh my God. <sighs> this one doesn't have a two car garage. No, it's a one car. And that kitchen is so tiny. But you know what? This is way bigger than what I have now. <laughs> so yeah, a girl needs to be grateful. <laughs> I'm working on my gratefulness, I swear to you. See, oh, I see the spider web. Oh. I told you, I, I noticed everything. Uh -uh. Yes, fam, back to what I was saying about being grateful. We definitely have to be grateful for what God has given us already and what he is about to give us, okay? Y'all, I absolutely love my realtor. His name is Rafael. I will have all the links for him down below in the description box. Like if you're coming to the Dallas Fort Worth area, I highly recommend that you get him. I ain't getting nothing off of this, okay? He's just amazing. It's true, true, you're right. And it's enough space for the dog. Oh, that was the front door. It's enough space for the dog. We have new fencing. The dog isn't going anywhere, so the dog is Sure. Right. Oh, there is nothing like a good yard and a good flight of stairs for me, okay? All right, fam. Let's go ahead and get into house number four. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. And uh, whatever's next door, it looks like a community center or something for for the kids i noticed that everybody has bars on their windows really quick before we get into the rest of this house i just wanted to let you know that i wasn't even sure if i was going to put this footage up which is why it is recorded the long way and not the normal way and my realtor is just really great just had to put that out there again <laughs> but yes honey enjoy enjoy <laughs> 
So are they gonna put appliances? Yes, they have to. Okay. Um, they have to put appliances because mm -hmm. of the appraisal. It won't come with the fridge though. Right. I don't know what's up with that whole thing. Yes, fam, you heard right. So in the city of Dallas, you definitely need to have your own fridge. Thank you. Yay, Brady has Y'all, this house was absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that backsplash. And the countertops, OMG. Like, the bedroom was pretty good sized. And the bathroom, the bathroom is freaking amazing. Like, Y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna see it right here. Like, that bathroom is phenomenal y'all but anyways you know i was a little worried because in the city of dallas like um you know some people had their bars on their windows but that's like grandfathered in so with new constructions they don't require having bars on the windows so you are barless honey okay and then they have this huge thing in that house which is like an alarm system which i found to be the funnest part of going to see the houses like it would do this thing where it goes whoop whoop and you like i was like oh time to go you know <laughs> but yeah it's like it makes you leery because they have this huge garbage can of an alarm in the center of the house and you're just like what is this but you know they have to put that there for safety you don't want squatters or anything like that in your home okay so right here i'm pretty much just walking along the house again because i'm like did i get everything because the house is saying it's 2174 square feet but honey it wasn't feeling like it okay wait so we just came from there right all right <laughs> So one, two, this one will be three. So everything's pretty much right here. It doesn't feel like 20 something square feet. Is that weird? Yeah, that's it. Like that's it, we seen everything? That's just weird. That's it. Yeah, that's weird. There is the infamous alarm I was talking about. On to the next house. Sam, so this house is so cute, sweet, and to the point but this is the house that had the container across the street or the the yard or what whatever it is that you call that construction building that i was telling you about earlier this is a train yard or something across the street so it's really really cute this house is about 1200 and some odd square feet and it felt pretty big and i think it's because of the sunlight that came in and stuff like that i mean i was i was in love a little just a little <laughs> like the shower was done cute everything was really cute the closet seemed good oh boy that view you don't see that view mm -mm. what is it that okay we got double doors here all right 245 245 yeah yeah, no. the price. yeah definitely I'm like, what in the world? That's what it was like, that view. Mm -mm. I mean, the kitchen is nice. It's cute. Yeah. Uh, I swear, it's like, what do I do? Oh, they did that nice. I mean, they did a good job. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I mean, the yard is big. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And it backs up to trees. Yep. Well, you got the neighbor's yard over there. Okay. All right, fam. Let's go ahead and move on to house number five. This house I absolutely loved, only for the simple fact that it had a pool. But it's not too bad. It's just a little bit of an older home. The pool looks Roof, amazing. The pool is updated. Um, uh, from what we can see, yeah. Let's see if I can get up there. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good though. It looks good. So what I was doing right here was just taking a video of the roof really quick just to make sure that everything was okay. That's something you always want to do is try to look at your roof to make sure that it's good. Uh, well, it does have like sheds, I guess. The kitchen is nice. So I need a fridge. Y'all, this was the garage. I was like, what in sweet baby Jesus is going on up in here? <laughs> it is looking jiggity jankity, honey. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm coming. Oh, man. Really? <laughs> no. 
Y'all, I don't know why your girl was super excited to see this house, but honestly, like I said, it definitely had to do with the pool. <laughs> it was in a very quiet and good neighborhood. It was in another town called Carrollton. So the house was very nice. But my realtor was definitely trying to put me on to the foundation being jacked up, okay? Because I'm like, oh, I wanted a house with a pool so bad. OMG, because it's so hot, you know? Okay, fam, this is just too much. Let's go ahead and get into the next house. I believe it's house number six. Let's get into the fact that these trees are not going to be removed. It comes all the way out over my car. There's bushes over there. They talking about they not going to remove this fence. I mean, remove the trees or anything. Look at the house. It's boarded up. There's trash all in the front. This huge ass tree. They also said they're going to do the completion of the house once the offer is submitted. That sounds mad shady to me. So I don't think so, honey. So right off the bat, this is the backyard, okay? <laughs> Backing up almost to like a highway strip. And I'm like, what? OMG. Not sure if they're going to put in a fence or anything. This house was actually my first love. Watch your step. I think it's right here. Where is it? I tripped on it the other way. Damn it. Oh, right there. Right here. Coming. Yeah. It's they, they, yeah, they did it. You know what? I don't even know why. I think when I came here, I was so in awe. I was like, oh, wow. Like, we walked in, and then when I walked back out, I tripped. <laughs> Y'all, the only thing I was thinking about when I seen this house was square footage, okay? Because this house was almost 2,000 square feet. The island is huge. The living room is big, and I absolutely love that. There is no lights, no electricity, no nothing, okay? We were fumbling around in that house in the dark. So I am so sorry about it being in the dark. From here. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, thank you so much, because this little thing ain't doing nothing. <laughs> All right, fam, so now we're going upstairs. I just sped it up a little bit so we can get up these stairs. But yes, y'all, nothing is done. And like I said, I found that to be a little bit shady or whatever, and it is hot as you know what. Oh, holy Jesus, it's hot in here. Good Lord. And look, what, 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 what is this? Or like this pole. So that one, it looks like the old power pole that they haven't taken down. I know they're taking that down. These people better stop playing games. Or oh, is it the new one that they're putting up? The, the, the tub is disgusting. Like, what is that? Ew. I'll be honest, that's it. Like, I see that in 95% of new builds. They, okay. They do, they do, they do. And I hate it because that's what they do, and I always, get, I always recommend getting the plumbing inspected. Oh. They dump a lot of stuff. Really? Down there. Like cement and stuff? Just anything. Whatever they use yeah, in the build the house? Just rent it out and oh my gosh. And so I always tell people just get, get, a get an inspection. And you never would have thought you need an inspection on a brand new. Oh, no, I always tell people, brand new house, I get everything <sighs> inspected just because you never know what they do. Right. Oh God. But I would say get the plumbing inspected, get someone to get a camera down there. Make yeah. Sure it's clean and clear. Right. Because yes, you know. Right. Okay, back to the staircase. There's another hallway. Oh, child. Yeah, it's it's big, and I was like, oh, okay, this is nice. What got me, I think, is really the main floor, which sucks because you can't see it. That's right, fam. So when you're buying a house, make sure you get an inspection done, whether it's new or old. So this is the master bedroom, I'm assuming. Yes. All right. So you got dual vanities. <sighs> That's I was just gonna ask you that. Like what? Like <laughs> No, seriously. Like, no, I know. That's why I'm saying serious. They wouldn't have spent the money to go all the way across. Cross? Like a single no, the they wanted to do two separate things. At this point, family, we might as well just throw the whole house away. Okay, just throw it away. On to the next. Okay, fam. So if you guys hung in here this long, then this next house is amazing. Like, I absolutely love this house. It was just a little out of my price range. And I was like, no. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. Just check it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. How this yeah, thing? <laughs> yeah. This is nice. Oh, and this one, they actually put the... um the attic thingy in the hallway, I just noticed. Yeah, you see it's in the hallway. Yeah. yeah. A lot of space. I think so. 
touching. Yeah, and sure. Because it's so tiny. Yeah, know, it's so, <laughs> so fam, I'm over here sizing up this house. I'm like, yes, my fridge is going here. The microwave's going here. It's looking good. I was like, the stove is going here. Like, I'm just like, yes. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's out of price range. But let me tell y'all, I was like, God will make a way. God will make a way somehow, baby. Do I see myself entertaining right here? This is the alarm. <laughs> but yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, they gotta fix this tile. Oh, I just popped it back in place, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below and let me know which house you would have picked if you were the one shopping for these houses, okay? Oh my goodness. Ooh, we got spider webs, oh! Oh, I was really sizing this house up, baby, okay? <laughs> oh, this is so cute. It's hot as you know what. Good Lord. Okay. Oh. All right, so they still gotta fix that. This is the bathroom. As soon as you come up the stairs to your right, I guess. <laughs> so that's nice. This is this is the master. I'm not too sure about that. It does have a balcony, so that's awesome. The houses seem all right. It's quiet, it's nice. Okay, this is the closet. So I'm not too sure what this room is, but it's probably gonna be an office because that's not a bedroom, that's small. Oh, these bedrooms is looking a little tight, honey. We still gotta put that. Okay, we got the closet. This bedroom is looking a little tight. Let's stand up. The hallway. It's the bedroom we just came from, and the bathroom. Okay, let's try this. Why is it so hot? Lord have mercy. All right, so you got the laundry room up here. Okay. Okay, so this is the master. I don't know what that room is. I guess that's just like a sun room or whatever. So this is the master. That is my yard. Y'all, I'm cracking up. Notice how I said, that's my yard. <laughs> okay, speak it into existence. Okay, baby. So let me get this from the corner. This is what this is looking like. It's big. Definitely big. Okay. Into the bathroom. Yes, look at these countertops. Okay, hey, granite. Come through, granite. All right, shower. All the way, tile goes all the way up. The closet's smaller, it's on the smaller side. Is it? Yeah. Cause it's like the bar space. I mean, I got other bedrooms, but. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> I do got other bedrooms, okay, baby. <laughs> you and me both, I was like, Oh my goodness, why is it so hot? <laughs> I was like, what is going on? It's probably because all of this is open. That's why they don't have AC on probably yet. Like, what the hell?